Saint Stephen's Mar Thoma Syrian Church, Marol, Present, Cross, Rhythm of Life. Today's meditation is taken from Ephesians chapter 2, verses 1 to 10. Today's meditation is led by Roshni Jairin. Greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. During this time of Great Lent, let us all focus and deepen our spiritual practice. The scripture portion for our Lenten meditation is taken from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 1 to 10, testifying death to life. Have you ever felt like your life was hopeless? Like you were dead in your sins and had no way out? Maybe you have struggled with addiction, depression or anxiety. Maybe you have made choices that you regret and feel like you can never undo. Whatever your situation, there is hope. In Ephesians 2, 1-10, the Apostle Paul reminds us that we were all once dead in our sins, but God, who is rich in mercy, has made us alive in Christ. Let's meditate on this passage together and see what God has to say to us. In verses 1-3, to Paul begins by painting a bleak picture of our spiritual state before we came to Christ. We were dead in our sins, following the ways of the world and the rulers of the kingdom. The spirit who is now at work is those who are disobedient. We lived in gratifying the cravings of our flesh, following its desires and thoughts, and by nature deserving of wrath. This is a harsh reality, but it's important to acknowledge the depth of our sinfulness and our need for a saviour. We can't save ourselves or earn our way into God's favour. Now let's go through what is said in verses 4 to 7. It explains how our God, who is rich in mercy, made us alive in Christ, even when we were dead in our transgressions. He saved us by His grace, not because of anything we have done to deserve it, but because of His great love for us. Paul emphasizes that this salvation is a gift from God, not something we can earn or boost about. We are saved by grace through free faith, and even the faith we have is a gift from God. We didn't do anything to deserve this salvation, and we can't do anything to earn it. It is purely a gift of God's love and mercy. But this gift of salvation is not just for our own benefit. As we see in verses 8-10, to 10, Paul tells us that we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. We are not saved by our good works, but we are saved for good works. As we meditate on this passage, let's remember that we were once dead in our sins, but God has made us alive in Christ. We didn't do anything to deserve the salvation, but it's a gift of God's love and mercy. And as we live out our faith in Christ, let's remember that we are called to do good works that bring glory to our God and bless those around us. May God, may God give us grace to live out this calling and to walk in the good work He has prepared for us. In the name of our loving Father. Amen.